That was such a... I read those books in Elvis. Jimmy, you've interrupted me. Oh, sorry. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Can I see? Sure, take a look. I think I have finally caught the essence of what it means to be a banana. I really feel my work is moving forward. Uh, here's the thing. Art is lost on me. I've always been more into music. You know, having thoughts for another really makes your work glow. Uh, how do you mean? When people do things, incredible things, when people blossom and grow, that really moves me. You know what I mean? Not really. <laughs> I am in love, Jimmy. And I want to make tonight very special. Would you mind going to collect a few things while I work my muse out? A dress, some perfume, my pearl necklace from the jewelers, not too much. I must look my best tonight. Tonight? Wow, of course. Is this legal? Of course it's legal. Whatever can you mean? Now go on, my dear. Hurry! Hey, you want your hair cut? Sweet! Hello. Are you looking for anything in particular? I think I'll keep this.
got my eye on you. I'll take that. How? Here you go. Oh, Jimmy, what took you so long? Thanks. No problem. Oh, man, I can't believe this. My first time with a teacher. Oh, man, this is gonna be great. Hey, Jimmy, what are you doing here? Nothing. What are you doing here? Ah, uh, well, it's a little awkward, but since you've been such a good friend to me, Ms. Phillips, she's asked me, me, of all people, she, can you believe? She's asked me on a date. Wait. She asked you? I think you're mistaken. Uh, what? Yeah, I mean, I think there's been some sort of mistake. You sure you haven't been hitting the bottle again? No. I mean, yes, I am sure. Well, okay then. Hitting the bottle. <sighs> Lionel, you came. You look great. So do you, Deirdre. Thank you. Wait, what? Jimmy, what are you still doing here? Uh, what do you mean? This boy is an angel. He's been magnificent. Uh-huh. And he is so cute. Cute. <laughs> nice. Come on, Lionel. Let's go. Bye, Jimmy. Jimmy, you should get back to school. Wait, Miss Phillips. Ah, oh, man. Jerk. I heard that Miss Phillips used to be a If I get left back another way. year, I'm
Hey, Miss Phillips. Hey, Jimmy. So what really happened to Mr. Galloway? Where did he go? It's a sad story, but... Sometimes when grown-ups get upset, they respond in the wrong ways and, well... Small problems get bigger and that's really the thing about being an adult. Miss, I'm not five. My mom's been married five times and I've been expelled from seven schools. <laughs> yeah. He's a drunk. Stupid man couldn't control himself. Damn him! I love him. But that wretched ogre Hattrick guilt tripped him into committing himself into the asylum to get dried out. If only someone could get in there and tell him to get out, I'll take care of him. Why don't you go? Because that loveless scumbag Hattrick told him not to let me in, said I was a bad influence. Don't you worry, miss. I'll get him out. Okay. Meet me near the asylum tonight. I'll be there. And Jimmy? Yes, Miss Phillips? It's Ms, not Miss. Oh, right. Jimmy, I'm glad you made it. Please hurry and try to talk some sense into him. I'll be waiting for him at the asylum gates. Don't worry, miss. Thank you so much. Watcher. There ain't no room for a pipsqueak like you around here! So beat it!
might be able to help me. It's a pretty cool game. It's all about killing things and taking their stuff. What was it called? Grottos and Gremlins or something like that? Yeah. Hey, what are you doing in here? I'm here to beat you up and evict you. Enough talking. Let's fight. Let's. You're dead. You got nothing. comes through. What are you looking at? Nothing. Well, it looks like you're looking at me, scumbag. Like I said, nothing. Oh, come on, I don't want to fight you. My name's Jimmy. Zoe. I was at Bullworth once. I got kicked out. Why? Let's just say Mr. Burton is a dirty creep. Seriously? I would love to teach that guy a lesson. He bullies everyone. You know, he goes jogging every day and regularly uses the porta potties in the park. Yuck. Yeah, so if we could catch him in one on top of a hill, then Mr. Burton could have a really interesting time in it. Yeah, but they're all chained together. We'll need to get some bolt cutters. Go get some from the Spaz Industries building and meet me at the park. Make sure no one sees you.
You got nothing. This might come in handy. Yeah, yeah. that happened? Did you get them? Yeah, I got them. Now what? Burton always goes to the can when he goes running. We've got to make sure he uses this one and send him on a trip. I'll take care of this. You make sure he doesn't use one of the other ones. This sounds like it's gonna be good. What have we here? I can afford a doctor. You kid. This looks useful. Get back here! I'm not so Did you enjoy purging the deliciously fatty foods? I got a job that only you can help me out with. You. Kid, get to school. Everyone around here so fake. So much boring BS.
Ah, much better. Jostle you there. I won't be able to go. I'm gonna need to Listen, pal, help a poor desperate fella out. Mr. Big. Yeah, it was you, creep. What was me? Don't play innocent with us. I tried that when father caught me with Nanny. He gave me a good thrashing, and I've got half a mind to give you one. Hey, look, just get to the point. Someone stole our boxing trophies, buddy. They were heirlooms. Well, it wasn't me, rich boy, so relax. Well, if it wasn't you, then who was it? I bet it was those grease balls. I know it. They've always hated us. And so much for peace in our time, Popper. Just great. Let's get them. Yes. It's time to teach those poor, disrespectful scum a lesson. Wait, relax. Maybe it wasn't them. Maybe it was someone else. Nobody hates us. Apart from them. Oh, yeah, they do. Everyone hates you. You're all awful. Oh, la-dee-da. Now he tells us. You are pathetic, Hopkins. You're not a leader. Out of my way. Come on, men. Let's go. Okay. It's war. Hold on. Wait here. I'll go get your trophy back from those grease balls. Oh, man. My grades. Get I out. was a little late with the
All right, Vance, did you guys steal the preppy's trophies? No way, man. After the townie's been saying all that stuff about Lola and made Johnny crazy, we don't care about those stuck-up jerks. The townies? Really? Yeah, and Johnny says you're no friend of ours anymore. But since you got him out, I'll let you walk away from this meeting. Well, since I already beat you, I guess I believe you. Sucker! Ow! It bit me! <laughs> Better hope you don't get rid I can just imagine the look on their face when they get another crate of rats. <laughs> All the little nerds running around screaming like girls. <laughs> Hurry up! Can't be late for the party at the docks. All right, come on. They're burning those trophies down at the docks.
Poppy Beach. Two months of work, and they just say no. Well, Popper, what did you find? Yeah, who took our trophies? Don't tell me. It was the Tooth Fairy. <laughs> yeah, either it was the Tooth Fairy or the Grease Balls. I wonder which one. Actually, trust fund babies. It was neither. It was those townies. Which townies? The ones who hang out by the factory. Them? Why would they steal our trophies? Don't talk crap, Hopkins. I'm not. I've got a picture to prove it. Why? They don't have any problems with us. Yeah, poor kids just love rich kids who act like stuck-up jerks, don't they? Listen, you over-fortunate numbskull. They did everything. Put Johnny Vincent in the home, let the rats out of the library, everything, including your trophies. Why? Because I listened to Gary. So it is your fault. No, it was Gary's fault. You, my friend, have got delusions of grandeur. Nobody cares about you or Gary. You're ridiculous. Come on, Biff. Let's leave this king of this school to his pathetic little fantasies. You are an idiot, Hopkins. I've got a photograph. You know what you can do with that, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> Glad that's done. You got a lot to learn, that's for sure. You hear about One that real estate down in Florida? Hey, what you looking at? Hey, Zoe. You wanna have some fun, tough guy? What kind of fun? It's not that kind. I only date older men or junkies. They're so romantic. Come on, what's wrong with me? <laughs> well, everybody hates you. You're a little twerp. You dress terribly. But apart from that, nothing. Oh, okay. Good. Why don't we play a little game? Come on. By older men, I hope you don't mean Mr. Burton. Hey. We're going to the Spencer Shipping Warehouse. I should give seminar. All right, Jimmy. Here we are. A warehouse full of expensive looking junk. It makes it much more satisfying that all this is Spencer shipping. Wait, isn't Tad's last name Spencer? Yup, and now we're gonna play a little game. Whoever smashes up the most stuff wins. There's gotta be something around.
sure know how to have a good time, Zoe. This is the best date ever! No sweat. I don't like Have you seen a celebrity up close? Ah, Hopkins. Now, I'm not one to give in to popular sentiment. You can tell that by your clothes. What? I'm saying you dress great. Irrelevant. As I said, I am not a people pleaser, but in your case, I'm going to make an exception. An exception? Cool. Yes, you are without a doubt the least popular boy in this school right now. Even that fat child who wets himself is more popular than you. Coincidentally, it has also come to my attention that you are a filthy, dirty, foul-mouthed, awful little vandal. Yeah, well, we already knew that. Very droll. A comedian till the end. Well, you'll have to pursue your comedic talents elsewhere, boy. Bullworth is not for you. I'm not the one who's funny. You know what's funny? You. You're a joke, you old creep. You and your stuck-up, lame-ass school with its bullies and sex-pest teachers. This place is a dump, and you're a big-nosed freak. This school rewards losers and bullies. I just stand up to them. You painted obscene graffiti on the town hall, boy. I have it on good authority it was you. Oh yeah? Then who squealed? Tell me that. A commendable pupil did feel the need to tell me you were responsible for this outrage. Gary Smith! Look, I may have painted a few jokes on the town hall, but that kid likes to torture people. Gary Smith is the next head of this school. He's responsible, courteous, and not afraid of being an unpopular leader. You are blind, old man! Blind! And you are leaving! I tried to contact your mother, but she's still off on a cruise. Until I hear from her, I will have to let you stay here in your room. But you may not wear the school uniform or uh, attend classes. Gotta be kidding you are me. leaving the academy to attend to your education elsewhere. Now get out! Whatever, man. Why'd she leave me? Why? Hey, Jimmy. 
How you doing? Terrible. Everybody hates me. Everybody might hate you, but everybody laughs at me. Yeah, that's true. Those kids are jerks anyway, but I tried. I know. I mean, I tried to do the right thing, make people happy, stop all the fighting, make everyone calm down. Now everyone laughs at me. People used to be scared of me, and now I'm a joke. It was Gary. It must have been. I know. I can't deal with the fact that that kid beat me. Well, it ain't over yet. God, one minor setback, and you're acting like a baby. You're pathetic. I've been expelled. They're just waiting for my mother to come back from her 58th honeymoon, then I'm out of here. How was that a minor setback? Losers! Oh, shut up, you fat dork. Whatever. You and your has-been friend don't scare me. See? Even a dork like that laughs at me. We gotta prove Gary was behind everything. We don't even know if it was Gary. All we know is townie kids beat up a bunch of Bullworth kids. I mean, I don't even care anymore. Well, we've gotta find out what's going on. Come on! Okay, but if we're gonna take on those townies, we're gonna need a bunch of backup. Someone big who doesn't hate me yet. Russell. Russell. He'll be at his house at Old Bullworth Vale. like being tortured for five years. Russell, I need your help to bust into the dropout's hideout. Only if Russell gets to destroy. What the 
hell do you think you're doing? What do you mean? Smashing into our barricade like that? Completely out of control. Are you crazy? I've got to talk to that Edgar kid. I don't think he wants to talk to you. And you can't get in while the power is out anyways. go through the Red Star building. This gate is controlled by an electronic security take on Omar. He's Edgar's right-hand man. He's the only one with the key to the plan.
That's it. Finally, you found the right button to press. gonna be fun.
get that idea. work. Let's see what you can do. Ah. Ha. You know, you're all right, Jimmy. Yeah, okay. See ya. That was easy. What the hell are you doing here? Looking for you, Zoe. I think I'm in love. Don't be ridiculous. Haven't you heard? Heard what, my love? The school has broken out into a massive fight. Every gang and faction is fighting each other. What? Yeah. Oh, man, I gotta go. How am I gonna deal with this? I'm gonna need some serious backup. Where's Russell? Where's your buddy Edgar? Russell has been holed up in the Wonder Meat slaughterhouse, hiding from the cops. He's worried about going to prison after stealing that bike. Russell can comprehend prison? Wow. Look, I'll see you later. Well... What about love? It'll have to wait, Zoe. Duty calls. Jimmy, there you are. I don't know what to do. 
and I smell like meat. Rawr! Rawr! Jimmy! Come on, we gotta get to the school. All hell's breaking loose. Hey, Jim, this is your turf. What the hell's going on? The whole place has gone mental. Yeah, it's your old friend Gary. He's the one causing all the trouble. The kid's a complete psycho, and now he's got the teachers and prefects on his side. So? So, we run in there, try to stop the fighting, and find a way to deal with Gary. <laughs> all right, one question. How are we gonna stop a load of kids from beating the crap out of each other? It's America. We go in there with threats and bribes until we get what we want. If all else fails, we beat the crap out of everyone. That's why I brought along backup. Russell likes to hurt people for peace. Cool. Then it's a plan. Damn! They're locked! Don't worry, Russell will get it! That kinda hurt. Edgar, we'll take out the gang leaders. Without them, Gary's got nothing. Someone's here to see you. Oh, it's the thug. Don't worry, boys. I'll deal with him. You'll get really tiresome, Darby. Cut it out. Darby Harrington. Oh, oh, Lord! I have to carry on the family name! Oh. 
That's just a use. Hey, Jim, this is your turn. They're locked! Don't worry, Russell will get it! That kinda hurt. Edgar, we'll take out the gang leaders. Without them, Gary's got nothing. Someone's here to see you. Oh, it's the thug. Don't worry, boys. I'll deal with him. You're getting really tiresome, Darby. Cut it out. Now, Russell! better than this. What the hell are you doing, Johnny? Why are you taking orders from Gary? Shut up, Jimmy! You left us and everything went down the toilet! I beat you once, I'll beat you again. 
Bunch of bitches. <laughs> that was incredibly satisfying. Edgar, go help everyone calm down. I've got some business with Gary. Understood. Good luck. <laughs> you, what is that in your hand? Weapons are for prefects only. No! Get off my little body! <laughs> Slow down so Russell can smash you! Aw, oh, come on. Your attention, please! Jimmy is complete human trash! Gary, you little bitch! Come out! James, I've been waiting. Let the games begin! Gary! Moron! Why'd you do it, Gary? Why not? I won! I tricked everyone! Starting with you, the head, the loser kids in town, and the prefects! Me! I won! You are sad, man! I might be sad, but I've won your world, moron! And don't you forget it! You did all my dirty work for me, Hopkins! You're like a puppet! Only dumber! Whatever! Let's finish this!
Careful, don't hurt yourself. Are you having fun yet, Jimmy? If you prove to be one thing this year, it's slow. You'll never catch me, Hopkins. You're too trusting, Jimmy. From the start, you were pathetically naive. Jimmy, all alone and big scary Bullworth, under fire from Russell and his goons, desperate for help. So sad, so hopeless, just needing a friend, any friend. You were so easy to manipulate, Jimmy. And once we were friends, it was all so clear. Play his childish little games with Ernest, Ted, Darby, Johnny, and Edgar, and just wait for the right moment to swoop in and take it all. Special delivery! up dominoes. It all fell together so perfectly. You were off wasting your time with horrors like Lola. I was in the dorm planning. While you were racing bikes, while you were playing at the carnival like a child. The thing is, if I win, you're just another punk. You win, and you'll be sent away even quicker for beating up the head boy! Why'd you do it, Gary? Because I can! Because making little people like you and the morons who run this place eat out of the palm of my hand feels great! But I never did anything to you! You would've if I'd given you the chance! Face it, I'm smarter than you! Oh, congratulations! <laughs> You're smarter than me! You hate everyone, and everyone hates you! Genius! The head likes me! I tied him up, turned his dumb school into a battleground, got kids expelled, unfairly, put several others into therapy, and he still likes me! You're such a loser! <laughs> well, at least my mom doesn't make her living on her back! You're dead! <laughs> I can take you, Hopkins! Regrets, Jimmy. Back off. After you're expelled from Watch it. Smith! I heard the whole thing! You're expelled! Come and untie me, boy! Yes, sir! <sighs> Sorry, didn't see you there. You know, I think I may have judged you too unfairly, boy. Yes, a little rough around the edges, but you're a diamond, boy. 
A diamond. Thank you, sir. Now take out the trash, would you, Hopkins? My pleasure. So it was you who took on this monstrous little wretch, was it? Yep. <laughs> what a hero. A lone wolf. Uh-huh. Well, no. To be honest, sir, I did have a lot of help from some friends. Like this girl, Zoe. She got expelled because she complained about Mr. Burton hitting on her. Burton? Well, he's fired. I hope he rots in hell. And a guy named Peter Kowalski, good friend of mine. Never heard of him. Yeah, well, he keeps quiet. He's kind of shy. Shy? The boy must be a genius. Why, well, he should be head of the school. Pete? Great idea. Now, about that letter to my mother. What letter? Finally, everything is sorted out, more or less. I mean, I don't want to say we're going to live happily ever after or anything like that, but life is certainly going to get easier. Nothing, bum. Disappear, sit back. Oh, hey, leave me alone. <laughs> hey. Oh, hi. <laughs> I'm gonna shut that mouth. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Peep. 
people judge Mr. Hattrick unfairly. He's really a nice guy. Hello? Hey, Miss Phillips. Hey, Jimmy. So what really happened to Mr. Galloway? Where did he go? It's a sad story, but... Sometimes when grown-ups get upset, they respond in the wrong ways and, well... Small problems get bigger and that's really the thing about being an adult. Miss, I'm not five. My mom's been married five times, and I've been expelled from seven schools. <laughs> yeah. He's a drunk. Stupid man couldn't control himself. Damn him! I love him. But that wretched ogre Hattrick guilt-tripped him into committing himself into the asylum to get dried out. If only someone could get in there and tell him to get out, I'll take care of him. Why don't you go? Because that loveless scumbag Hattrick told him not to let me in. Said I was a bad influence. Don't you worry, miss. I'll get him out. Okay. Meet me near the asylum tonight. I'll be there. And Jimmy? Yes, Miss Phillips? It's Ms. Not Miss. Oh. Right. Jimmy, I'm glad you made it. Please hurry and try to talk some sense into him. I'll be waiting for him at the asylum gates. Don't worry, miss. Thank you so much. I think I'll just follow you for a while. Let's be friends, but don't anger the Watcher.
Man, the last thing we need is some sort of watcher stampede again. I must be a better person. I must be a better person. I must be a better person. Oh, God! I am pathetic! Hey, Mr. Galloway. Go away! I don't want to have another group therapy session with those people. If I have to pretend to be someone's mother one more time, I'll... Oh. Hi, Jimmy. Uh, what on earth are you doing here? Ms. Phillips sent me. She's really worried about you. Come on, let's get out of here. Oh, uh, uh, what? <laughs> I can't right now, Jimmy. I'm late for my regression therapy as it is. It's fantastic. I've discovered I really do hate myself. Patrick was right. I am a loser. No, you're not. Don't be ridiculous. Come on, we can't let bullies like Mr. Hattrick win. Okay, Jimmy. Jimmy, I really appreciate this. Thank you. Me too. I am so happy to have my galley bear back. Galley bear? I think we I can think call that a wrap. If you want. Mr. Galloway, should you really be doing that? Oh, Jimmy. No, I suppose not, but life is unfair. You promised Ms. Phillips. Oh, God. What kind of world do we live in where I get punished for a minor indiscretion and Hattrick gets away with taking bribes from his pupils? He does? Yes. 
He sells advanced copies of tests to the sons of his rich friends, and nobody says a word. Wait, what rich friends? Well, Darby Harrington, for one. I can't believe he's selling tests. What if I got evidence of him doing this? <laughs> then I'd never need to drink again. All right, let me see what I can do. Come up over it, bucko. I hope Johnny's not pissed off at me. It could be worse, right? We could be Johns. <laughs> yeah, you know, I hate all those clean, nice kids who think they got everything all figured out. I found that combing my hair smooths my mind out. You have my cash? All right, I'll pay. You drive a hard bargain. Hey, thanks a lot, big guy. Money, money. <laughs> Everyone thinks bigger is better. How's it going? Ooh. How's it going? I sure hope he shows up. I need to get my grade up. Don't worry, he'll be here soon, I'm sure. Greetings. Did you chaps bring the money? Yeah, do you have the tests? Thanks, buddy. See you at midterm. Sir, of course, I trust you have my fee. I've got daddy's checkbook with me. Top dollars for top grades. Makes sense to me. See you in class. I'll always be better than you. Keep running, peon! I outclass you, peon! You know, he drinks on school grounds. Think of the children, Dr. Krabblesnitch. Drinking? I will terminate the employment contract of any staff member found corrupting children. Morality is the most important lesson we can teach the youth. Is that so? Then you might want to look at these. 
What's this? It's that fat, evil hypocrite selling test answers to rich kids. Fire them. What? You took pictures? And to think I trusted you, Hattrick? You're fired. But I... 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 Bye-bye, fatty. And as for you, Galloway, there better not be anything to that drinking business. There was never any doubt. Have you ever broken a bone? I wonder, did the army receive my application? Very good.